Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit today about when society tells you to act your age and some reflections that I had on that, some observations that I had on, on this concept here. And I want to share with you a little bit of a story from my weekend here that paints this picture, illustrates a little bit more my point here, hopefully. And, and I sincerely hope this message resonates with you, no matter if you're an old person listening to this, or if you're a younger person that's listening to this. I hope this is something that, that sticks with you and you carry with you throughout your life. And, and you can remember this and put it into practice or, or just use this example to to get you past those those little humps when when either your peer group or you just feel like society is trying to get you to, to act old, let's say to act your age, whatever fashion that, that comes at you in your life, you're, you're going to go through this. Every single person, you know, we, we, we go through life. We get older. We, we put years behind us. It's just, it's a part of the, the walk we're all doing down here, right? But as I said, I wanted to share a little story about my weekend. I, to, well, let's just to start off here. I'm, I'm 39 years old at the time of this recording, and I still have a deep, deep love for a particular type of music that I, I really enjoyed when I was younger. And I, I'm really into like the electronic house, like dance sort of high energy, kind of like dance club, nightclub sort of sort of music. I, I truly enjoy that stuff. I love it. I don't know what it is about it, I, I, but I do like the experience every once in a while of going out to like a proper full on dance club and enjoying this music. It's something that makes me happy. I enjoyed it when I was young. I'll probably enjoy it till the day I die. And I don't know why that is, but it's just something I like in my life, right? Now, obviously, at this point in time, it, I'm hard pressed to to get out and be able to do something like this once every other quarter or something like that. But I, I try to carve out some time every once in a while to go do something like this and enjoy a night out like this. And there was a time gone by where you could be out doing this stuff every every weekend, probably. And I, I was for a, a short period of time there, let's say. But that that is not the now. But I still make an effort as a 39, almost pushing 40-year-old person to go out and do this sort of stuff. And it always cracks me up when I, I share these stories with friends of mine that they want to know about what I do with my weekend. And I'll, I'll share this story about exactly what I got into and it's so funny to observe there's there's two sorts of people or peers in my life and there's two very different messages that will come out of their mouths as it relates to this whole concept and of course like one set of friends is is going to come back at me almost on the offensive with the message of hey like that's what that's just silly. Like, what are you doing? You're you're the old guy in the club. Like, you're you're too old for that stuff. What are you What are you doing? You're in there with a bunch of twenty year olds. Like, you, you probably stand out like a sore thumb. Like, what are you doing there? Act your age, kind of thing. You don't belong there. Like, how juvenile of you. That's that's just stupid. You should be doing something else with your time. And and that's I always like hate to hear that that message come out of my friend's mouth. But I just I just roll it off my back at this point in, in life and. You just know what it is, but um, it's unfortunate to have to hear those sorts of things come out of your friend's mouths. But on the other side of things, you've, you've got that group of friends. It's very supportive, and they're, they'll they say things like, hey, that's that's great. Good on you. you this is something you like doing. And you're not letting your age hold you back. That's great. Hey, go have fun. Knock yourself out kind of thing. I'm, I'm happy you're doing stuff like that with your life. And that's, of course, very refreshing to hear. It's always appreciated. But unfortunately, I, I find that group A or the first group that I that I discussed there, like the ones that are trying to trying to knock you down almost for what you're doing is, is more of like the overriding and the prevailing and the, and the typically more, you'll hear that message more often than not as you go through life. And I had a really interesting experience when I was out at this club this weekend. And this is one of the biggest things that I wanted to share with you guys is just this observation that I had. So I'm, I'm in the, the, the dead center, like the heart of this big city where I live at. I'm in this like this big, awesome club. This this cool, like full on proper nightclub. It was just jam packed with people. It had great energy, great vibes. I was having a I was having a good time, but I'll never forget this. I saw this 
this old couple in there, and, and this is no joke. This is a real story, a true story. It's like one o'clock in the morning. You know, the night had been raging on for a, a good amount of hours, and I see this this couple in there. It's this old, probably a husband and a wife, but a man and a woman, and they were very clearly older than everybody else in the club by a large margin. I mean, these people were they were completely gray haired. But they looked good. They had a lot of energy. They were very vibrant. You should have seen these people just jumping around, having the time of their lives. Like the, the, the smiles that were just painted across these people's faces. You just you could tell how how much they were enjoying themselves and how much they just they they wanted to be there and they were a part of the action and they were enjoying that experience for what it was. And I I was looking at them with such admiration the whole time I was there at night and I was just thinking to myself the whole time I I pray to God that I have the energy to get out and do this stuff still when I'm their age and I hope my whole life I, I keep this and that sticks with me and I, I hope that I can do what they're doing as long as, as they've been doing it and it just it really struck me when I was when I was thinking about this whole weekend in the aftermath of it all and I was thinking about the the reactions like I said you know today's Sunday I, I got home and shared with a few of my friends about what I had done with my weekend and it was exactly the reaction like I described before like the the hey you need to act your age kind of thing like what are you doing this sort of <laughs> sort of what are you doing going out and doing this stuff still and that was one thing and I was just thinking back to these old people and I'm like if my friends as an almost 40 year old guy are telling me this like can you imagine what these people as no joke they must have been at least 65 probably pushing 70 years old like what do you think their peers were telling them and i was just thinking about the the amount of resolve and let's say like strength in a way these people must have had to completely just not give a shit at all about what anybody thought you know even even the people in the club, it was interesting. Actually, everybody that was there that night, it was very clear that they were receptive to their presence. And they were, I think, admiring them as much as I was. Just the fact that they were there, like, really stood out. And people really respected that about them. And, and that's one thing. Those were those people in that nightclub there dancing, having a good old time. But once again, the, the people that, that were outside of this moment in this situation, those folks' lives, like, what do you think they were saying? How judgmental of them do you think they were and it just it, it struck me so loudly that I was thinking to myself, these folks are setting an example that all of us should be following, right? Who says that in a particular age bracket or a or a particular decade in your life dictates like what you should or should not be doing? I know there's there's certainly some society norms and things that that try to cast us into you know, doing doing some things versus not at, at particular junctures in our lives. But when you really step back and stop and think about that, what what does that stuff all really matter? What it, if there's something you love doing? Basically, don't let your age hold you back. Don't let your peer group or your the the society all around you dictate and restrain you from doing something that you might otherwise really truly love. I challenge every single one of you out there to be like this old gray couple in that nightclub and like dance your ass off for the whole night until the day you drop or every single weekend until the day you drop let's say and don't don't care about what how people are going to judge you is it it's it's all all that stuff is just crap it's all it it doesn't matter like what who gets to say what you can and can't do at a, at a particular age point in your life. It's, it's really, um, it's an interesting thing. And this one little dance club example is one small thing, but I, I'm sure if, if that's not your thing in life, I'm sure you can think about something that, that maybe you can relate to on this matter. And, and if, if you're a young person listening to this right now, this might not make a lot of sense to you at this present stage in time, but I guarantee you there'll be a day when you're, 40 years old, 50 years old, 60, 70, 80, and, and you'll get it. You'll understand what this is all about. And on the flip side of that, if you're an older person listening to this right now, I, I hope that you can use this sort of as a, a wake-up call maybe in a way to to snap out of that, that 
um, let's say like timidness, like in a way where you've allowed your 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 peers or society all around you to to dictate that you should or should not do do certain particular things at this stage in your life, wherever you're at. Um, it's just it's such a an interesting thing to me how we're all subject and we all cave at, at given points in time to these pressures all around us, but. That's just the message for today is that I hope that, like I said, I hope for me that I'm, I hope I'm that old couple in that nightclub someday. And I really sincerely wish and hope for every single one of you out there that you can be the couple in the nightclub. And if nightclubs aren't your thing, then whatever it is, I, I hope that if you've got something in your life that you really truly love, I hope you, you get to do it till the day you drop and you don't allow other factors to, to, direct you in a, in a way that that's um, that's going to restrain you it's going to hold you back or going to keep you from from things in this world that you really love so that's all i got for you guys today i hope you're having a wonderful day i'll talk to you real soon